What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Daigaku. Uh, excuse me, Daigaten Saiban. <laughs> Japanese. Um, if you are just coming in here after uh, case two, welcome. You've missed the uh, long hiatus I had in between chapter uh, chapters two and three. So I'm going to give you a fair warning that uh, I might be a little bit rusty on certain things when I start this because. I was waiting on my translator to do some more translating, so I had to take a little break between case two and three for like a month at most. So uh, my memory's a little fuzzy about certain details and how to voice certain characters. Uh, forgive me on that. But anyway, we are starting episode three, chapter three today, The Runaway Room. Which, which is a very interesting case, I'll give you that. Let's get started.記録を読み返すと、単純それではえっと、Well, this is a room. <laughs> also, Sisato is adorable. It's February 18th at 9.21 in the morning at the High Court of Justice, the Chief Magistrate's study. Let's see what can I press without butchering the audio or anything. What an incredible room. How shall I put this? I feel as though I'm going to be crushed by this oppressive atmosphere. Feels like a fortress. It's been several decades since Japan opened its borders to the outside world. Recently, we've started seeing buildings made of stone, even in our own country, but... Clearly, the real thing is much more impressive. When compared to Japanese houses made of wood and paper, everything here is on a completely different level. Well, I agree that everything here is on a completely different level, but... That's got nothing to do with wood and paper. Are you, like, inside a clock tower? 
Um, so where are we? The Great British High Court of Justice, in the Honorable Chief Magistrate's study. Chief Magistrate? Originally, at this time today, we were supposed to come to report that we, the Japanese legal exchange students, had arrived in London. But Asogi's out of the equation now. Yes. Therefore, our current status is... As messengers, coming to report Kazuma-sama's death. Messengers. When a messenger has finished delivering their intended message, they are meant to return immediately to whence they came. Back to Japan, huh? In other words, for us to remain in this country, the only way is for me to announce- oh, The only way is for me to announce myself as the replacement legal exchange student, right? And that the capacity in which you've come to study abroad is as a defense attorney. Defense attorney. It seems that in Great Britain, defense attorneys are ordained by the chief magistrate. Right now, we're here to have you ordained as a defense attorney, Naruhoto-sama. That is the only way we can remain here in Great Britain. Wonder if this is even something I'm capable of. Hello, lady and gentlemen. Sorry to have kept you waiting. This man! Ah. <laughs> uh, you must have had quite the long journey all the way from Japan and across the Great Ocean. I'm sure it must have been quite tiring. My apologies. It seems that I'm an hour, 12 minutes, and 47 seconds late for our point. That is a... What? Why? Uh, no, please. Don't worry about it. We left standing around and simply letting our minds wander. Not a hodo, no. That's quite a relief. I'm the Chief Magistrate of Great Britain, Hurt Vortex. Here it's translated as Heart Vortex, but... His first name is just weird. Ugh, talk about an oppressive aura. Not a hodo sama this is the time you steal your nerves. Uh, um... It's an honor to have gained your attention, Chief Magistrate Vortex. I'm Naruhodo Ryanosuke of the Great Japanese Empire. Mr. Naruhodo. Welcome to the Imperial City, London. Our nation welcomes you. Thank you very much, sir. This man, though. Alright, we're gonna talk. We are not examining anything, unfortunately, because I don't see anything here that we're going to be doing any examining at all for this section. Anyway. Uh, the Imperial City of London and the Legal Foreign Exchange Students. So first we're going to do the Imperial City Lo London. So, how do you find it so far? What are your impressions of the Imperial City London? Sir, th that be, um, crap, what do I say? I'm so nervous this whole time that I don't remember a thing. Not all, though. If I may say so, it's quite impressive. Oh? So far, we've only witnessed London from the road that runs between the pickup point and here from the carriage, but... Everything has been so overwhelming and impressive that we can scarcely put our sentiments into words. I'm glad to hear that. The railroads, plumbing, gas lines, and power lines that cover the city. There's yet to be a guest so far who hasn't been impressed by the revolutionary and cutting-edge technology display in all of it. Yes, yes. We were certainly impressed. Oh, I'm glad Susato-san's here. She really saved me. And the faces of everyone in the city are so bright and lively. Indeed. Currently, London is in quite the festive mood due to the, pre the preparations for the upcoming World's Fair. World's Fair. Cultural and technological gems from all around the world will be gathered here in London and put on display. It will likely surpass the Parisian F World Fair, making it the largest one to date. I hope I said that right. Parisian? What you described is beyond my imagination. It sounds quite dizzy. 
one expects nothing less from London. Great Britain's breathtaking imperial city. I guess I should have expected this sort of incredible self-confidence. Yes, from the eastern land of the rising sun. Visiting Great Britain, the empire in which the sun never sets. Perhaps that is also some matter of destiny. Legal foreign exchange students. Um, Honorable Chief Magistrate, in regards to the current legal exchange student, if I'm not mistaken, his name was Asogi Kazuma, am I right? Uh, news of that incident has already been sent to our government via International Telegraph. That on the voyage to Great Britain, he lost his life on the steamship. I should have expected that he would already have heard of it. Our nation offers yours its heartfelt condolences. Thank you very much. Did you come all this way just to inform me of his death? Yes. We come bearing this report as messengers of the Great British- uh, Great British- oops. Great Japanese Empire. Excuse me. It seems there is truth in the rumor that your nation is one that bows decorum. However, it is with greatest regret that I inform you. But with the defense attorney no longer among us, this legal exchange program must be cancelled. One moment, please. What is it, young lady? In regards to that... Narahodo Ryanosuke... Here, uh, Narahodo... Narahodo Ryanosuke here has something that he would like to propose. Sorry, I thought there would be a comma there, but no. <laughs> Who? Is this true, Mr. Narahodo? This is it. The moment of truth. Proceeding with foreign exchange. Ch Chief Magistrate Vortex. This... The current legal foreign exchange program. Is there any way that we might be able to proceed with it? Of course, our country also wishes it were possible. However, with the loss of your country's defense attorney, there's not much that can be done. In, in that case, what if our country were to provide a replacement defense attorney? What an odd thing to say. Eh? Your nation sent only one defense attorney here to Great Britain. His name was Asogi Kazuma. That's what I was told. Well, this isn't good. I just can't bring myself to voice such a harebrained idea to a chief magistrate. Not a Hodosama. I feel like things are gonna get messy as soon as I reply. What should I do? Our country's other defense attorney. There really isn't one. It's Susato san, and it's me. It's me! The other defense attorney is me. Paul? You? To be completely honest, I don't have the qualifications yet. Oh god, oh god, don't just dig this even deeper. Your grave, or, uh, uh. You have no qualifications, and yet you present yourself as a defense attorney. Well, I have stood in court as a defense attorney before. It it was just once, but not only did I have Asogi's help, but I was the defendant. I studied as much as I could on the voyage to Great Britain. In a cabin on the RFS Alacre, I studied this country's laws and court procedures. Voyage to Great Britain takes around 50 days. That's not much time to study, is it? If you intend to become a licensed defense attorney here in Great Britain, not only must you acquire a degree from a university of law, but you must also spend several years training at the inns of court. It's true. I know that it has been a very short time. However, I can't simply turn around and go home. His... Asogi's journey had only just started. I came here to Great Britain to carry out his will. Of course... I'm aware that this is just my own pride talking, but if you'll accept me as a defense attorney, I'll undergo any training I must. 
Is there any way you might give me a single, even a single chance? I beg you. 31 seconds, hmm? Uh, huh? I'm talking about the length of time it took you to make your case, Mr. Naraholdo. Neither too short nor too long, and with just the perfect amount of appeal. It was just the intuition a defense attorney requires. Thank you very much. I suppose I could consider this your dam, even though I'm not opposed to having some fun. I don't like the sound of that. Huh? Allow me to confirm just one thing, Mr. Naraholdo. Yes, sir. You say you will carry out Asogi's will. Is that true? Yes, that's what I intend to do. I see. What's going on? I feel like Chief Magistrate Vortex's expression suddenly changed a little just now. Very well, then. I will give you the chance you seek. An exam that, if you pass it, will earn you recognition, recognition as a defense attorney by a special appointment. It's up to you whether you take it or not. You mean it? What is this exam, though? I don't like the way he put it. So, when you say exam, what sort of... Mr. Naraholdo, what is the job of a defense attorney? That's, of course, to defend their client. Precisely. And so, I will have you provide a defense. Eh? Ah, perfect timing. There's a very convenient trial about to start. And we were in a bit of a tight spot as there was no one to act as a defense. T today uh, About to start? If you can win a verdict of not guilty, you pass. What? I think... I wouldn't think you could possibly ask for a more straightforward exam. This is not a straightforward exam! What if the client is not... Uh, is not innocent. Like, no. <laughs> what kind of... This is a real person we're dealing with. This is not an exam. This is a real trial. <laughs> well, yes, that's true, but... Um, by the way, what matter of trial is it? If memory serves, it was... Ah, uh, yes. Murder. Of course. But murder, you say? Oh, come now. It's a fairly straightforward case. All you have to do is not lose. You gotta be kidding me. However, on the off chance that a defendant is declared guilty, naturally, capital punishment will be unavoidable. C capital punishment? The death penalty? Here, in Great Britain, we sentence murderers to death by hanging. I'm sure that much was written in the books you read on the steamship over. We can't endorse such an exam. The defendant's life is not something to be toyed with. You tell him. That's my concern. I am the chief magistrate and I endorse it. I have money. What? That's ridiculous. I don't see what's so difficult about this. It'll be fine so long as you don't lose. My defense will... <laughs> my defense will determine the defendant's fate. If I fail, it ends in hanging. Mr. Naraholdo, you have claimed the title of defense attorney. As such, you must show that you are prepared to take on the responsibility that position entails. And as for the will of your dear friend that you have taken on to yourself. I'd want to see just how strong that will is. My resolution. What's this? You're awfully quiet all of a sudden. Sorry, but there isn't much time until the trial is due to begin. If you're going to do it, I need you to decide quickly. What will you do? What should I say to this reckless exam? 
I accept, I decline. What, what was I given here? Alright, I have been given the option to hit accept, so I will accept. In that case, in regards to this exam... It's no good! I just can't force the words out! 15 seconds. There's a problem with your response time. That's also an important quality. So, it's just as I suspected, hmm? Uh? This is as far as your valent resolve goes. That's what I was referring to. The exam is cancelled. Thank you for your report. I will prepare a ticket for the ship leaving tomorrow. You'll be returning to your eastern island nation. Yes? Understood. I'm grateful for the chance that you allowed me, Honorable Chief Magistrate. Um... Narahodo-sama. I'm really sorry, Susato-san, but... Yes, of course, I understand. Whether you stand in court as a defense attorney in a situation like this... That's obviously not a matter of resolve. Oh. What do you mean? It's true that I want to become a defense attorney in any way that I can. But even so, to claim to possess resolve and try to prove it by endangering the defendant's life, that's unacceptable. That's what I think. To a client, a trial isn't a mere exam. I believe that a defense attorney is someone who stands in various trials to fight for their client. But that client, that trial is a decisive battle in which their life hangs in the balance. As I am right now, I'm not qualified to stand in that position. Now, if you excuse me, Chief Magistrate Vortex. One moment, Mr. Naraholdo. Yes? What is it? It takes 20 minutes by carriage to reach Old Bailey from here. If we leave right now, we may still make it in time. But, but I... By the way, I wasn't joking about what I said before. There truly isn't a single soul to provide this defendant's defense. Eh? At this rate, the trial begin will begin in the absence of a defense attorney. And if that happens, there can be no doubt that the only thing awaiting them is the worst possible conclusion. But, but that's ridiculous! But it's also the truth of the matter. How can such a thing be permitted? Don't assume that every question has an answer. In any case, the only one who holds the potential to change this defendant's fate at this point in time is you. That much I can say for certain. Can't believe. Now then, with the situation as it stands, what will you choose, young lady? Huh? Um, what do you mean? Whether he could stand in court as a defense attorney under these conditions. This is purely a question of resolve. That is my opinion. Oh. That will have to do for our talk. It's almost time for my meeting to start. I have to go in 2 minutes and 16 seconds. Now then, enjoy the Imperial City of London to your heart's content. Alright, Vortex. I'm glad you can go to your meeting on time. Jeez. It's gone. Oh, Bailey, huh? If we're going, we better leave right now. Oh, whoops. What happens here when we examine something? Because we ended up having a conversation. Come to think of it, 
Could I ask you something, Susato-san? I shall Susato toss you if I, I must. I know. <laughs> Not hold sama The time of the trial's commencement is drawing ever nearer. I hardly think this is any time to be getting yourself tossed around like a ragdoll by Susato. I guess she's trying to tell me that we better head for the courthouse right away. Our conversation can wait until later, I believe. All right. All right, which one was the movement one? This was movement. Yes, okay. Whew. We're going to the old Bailey. Give it one second, because I want to put translations up here. All right, heading to the old Bailey. Same day at 9.45 in the morning, the Old Bailey, Defendant's Lobby. The trial doesn't begin for another 15 minutes. It looks like we somehow made it in time. I didn't know a carriage could move that fast. I bit my tongue so hard I thought I died. If this were a Sherlock Holmes novel, there's a phrase for such an occasion. Driver, there's a gold coin in it if you if you reach our destination within five minutes. That's what he say. That's actually from the study in Scarlet. Just just putting it out there. <laughs> but to think the carriage would fly like that if one were to try using that phrase in reality. I'm not sure if it was worth it to have to pay a gold coin to be scared half to death. But we managed to arrive at the courthouse before the trial began, didn't we? Well, I guess. In any case, this is rather curious, isn't it? You ought to be able to meet with the defendant if you come here. That's what the bailiff told us, but I don't see any sign of them. So this is old Bailey's defendant's lobby, huh? Is something the matter, Narahoto-sama? It's this oppressive atmosphere. It's no different from the one in the Supreme Court in our country. Crushing nerves that the person about to be judged must be feeling. I just had a taste of that myself not long ago. I'm sure they must be feeling very helpless. Oh, you there! I'm sorry you had to come all the way over here. It must have been quite the bother. Huh? Those relatively expressionless face of yours. You must be from the Orient. Um, we're from Japan. Yes, yes, I understand completely. No, say no more. So, how much do you require? What? Uh, no, we're just... No, oh, no, I completely understand. I am not a stranger to such experiences myself. Coming to a foreign land and having nowhere to live, nothing to eat, and no money. Right. Well, it's true that we still aren't sure where we'll be living, but... As I suspected. I'll start you off with a thousand guineas. Please accept it without a word. Oh, translator left a note that a thousand guineas would be worth six thousand dollars today. All right. A, a thousand guineas? What is it, Susana-san? What made you shout like that? A thousand guineas is... Enough to build a mansion in Tokyo's most affluent neighborhood. What? <laughs> oh, what's all the fuss about? I know I don't look it, but I'm always prepared for the worst. I carry just enough cash in my wallet to buy London about two to three times over. What? And really... And he has no defense attorney! What? What sort of worse is he imagining? In any case, it would be out of the question for us... Oh. In any case, it would be out of the question for us to accept such a huge sum. What? The gold coin to the eye! Naturally, I would be simply giving it away. It would come with but one simple request. Huh? Oh, well, 
Uh, to tell the truth, it's a touch embarrassing, but... My trial is going to begin in a few minutes. And as I may require someone to consult with, I would be most honored. If you would stand at my side in court. As my defense attorney, see? Uh, uh but we're... No, no, no. You'll be fine. You can just start by standing there. You see, at this rate, I'll be forced to enter my trial without any defense at all. I thought so. So what the chief magistrate told us was true. Um, pardon me for asking, but might you be defendant in this trial? No shit! Oh my, oh my, oh my. Could it be that you don't know me? Me, who is known in every corner of London. Uh, no, we don't. We only arrived in London this morning, so... Ah, uh, hmm, I see. I suppose things like this must occur at times, too. It's the most beautiful park near Hyde Park. A, a park? It's known as Mangaldor Park. In the springtime, it's full of gorgeous flowers blooming and birds singing. And it was a donation by me. How nice of you. Ah? Uh, you donated a park? If it's for the sake of creating an, the ideal of an imperial city where joy knows no bounds. I, Cosney Mangledoll, believe in doing whatever I can. Alright, we're gonna stop there for now and continue on into the next video. I was trying to see if we can get to Cosney's name before we stopped, so we did it. So, we shall talk more with Mr. Mangledoll uh, later on in this case. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Daigaku, uh, excuse me, Daigaten Saiban. <laughs> Japanese. Um, if you are just coming in here after, uh, case two, welcome. You've missed the, uh, long hiatus I had in between chapter, uh, chapters two and three. So I'm going to give you a fair warning that, uh, I might be a little bit rusty on certain things. <laughs> あれは19世紀の終わり厳しい冬のことだった。事件は霧深い深夜のロンドンの街路をひたはしる乗り合い馬車の中で起こった。馬車には被害者と容疑者の両名のみ複数の人間がその事件を目撃した。一体誰が想
思えばあの事件こそは序曲だったのかもしれないね忘れがたきあの日本人留学生と演じた長い競争曲の始まりだ